Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lab Cafe's practical session. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to find the weight of a given body using a parallelogram law of vectors. Materials required: a parallelogram apparatus or Gibson apparatus with two pulleys, two slotted weights with hanger, a given body, a spring balance, a mirror strip, cotton thread, a white paper, drawing pins, a pencil, a pencil compass and a ruler before we start the experiment let's briefly discuss about the parallelogram apparatus and its working principle the image shown is a schematic setup for the experiment with the parallelogram apparatus it consists of a wooden board a which is fixed vertically on two pillars there are two pulleys p and q fitted at the same level at the top of the board a thread is passing over the two pulleys and hanging two slotted weights with hangers a second thread attached with the given body is attached at the middle of the fixed string the principle of parallelogram law of vector is if two vectors acting simultaneously on a particle are represented in magnitude and direction by two adjacent sides of a parallelogram drawn from a point then their resultant is completely represented in directions as well as magnitude by the diagonal of that parallelogram drawn from that point when point o is at equilibrium let two vectors p and q act simultaneously on a particle o at an angle theta they are represented in magnitude and direction by adjacent sides oa and ob of the parallelogram oacb drawn from the point o then the diagonal oc will represent the resultant r in magnitude and direction mathematically we can say vector r equals to vector p plus vector q now if a body of known weight w is suspended from the middle of the string by a hanger and balancing weight p and q are suspended from other two hangers such that r vector and three vectors p q w are under equilibrium then the magnitude of w is equals to the magnitude of r hence vector w equals to vector p plus vector q or w equals to root over p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta if s is the actual weight of the body then the percentage of error in the experiment can be calculated using the formula actual weight minus calculated weight by actual weight into 100 or the percentage of error equals to s minus w by s into 100 to measure the actual weight of a given body we will use a spring balance to do so we have to find the least count of a spring balance we will see how to do that this is a spring balance there are two scales printed on it on the right side the scale is in grams on the left side the scale is in newton you can measure up to 1000 grams or 10 newtons by this spring balance we will use the gram scale as you can see from 0 to 100 grams there are five divisions therefore the total number of divisions are 5 into 10 equals to 50 divisions and it can be measured up to 1000 grams we can say the total reading is 1000 therefore by definition least count of the spring balance is total reading by number of division equals to 1000 grams by 50 which is 20 grams now that we know the working principle of the apparatus and the least count of the spring balance let's do the experiment set the grips and apparatus with its board in vertical position on the table take the help of plumb line if it is required ensure that the pulleys are moving smoothly oil them if necessary fix a drawing paper sheet in the middle of the board with the help of drawing pins
take a long thread and tie two hangers H1 and H2 to the both ends of the thread. and pass it over the pulleys. Take another thread with a shorter length and tie it at the middle of the string between two pulleys. After that, hang the unknown weight to the other side of the shorter thread. Adjust the weight P and Q to keep the knot O at position slightly below the middle of the paper. This is the equilibrium position of O. Ensure that all the weights hang freely and do not touch the board. Now, mark a position of junction O on the white paper by the pencil. Now, take a thin mirror strip and place it on the paper under one of the threads. See the image of the threads on the mirror. Adjust the line of your sight such that it is right angle on the strip and the thread. At this point, you cannot see the image of the thread on the mirror, which means the parallax is removed. Mark two points on the paper on either side of the strip exactly behind the thread. Place the mirror on the paper under other thread and get another two points. Give the name to these points as P1, P2 and Q1, Q2. Finally, get two more points W1 and W2 on the paper by following the same procedure as earlier. Now remove the threads and hangers from the apparatus and note the weights of two hangers along with the slotted weights. Let these two weights be P and Q. In this case, both the weights are same but you can also take two different weights to do the same experiment. As we can see, there are four slotted weights and each of them are 50 grams for each of the hangers. Remove the paper from the board and place it on the table. Then join P1, P2, Q1, Q2 and W1, W2 with the help of a ruler.
to represent vector i have taken 50 grams equals to 1 cm this is scale factor therefore i can say 200 g represents 4 cm then i measure 4 cm on these two lines and complete the parallelogram oacb using a pencil compass here oa represents p vector and ob represents q vector Finally I will join O and C and take the measurement by the ruler It is 7 cm which represents R vector So OA equals to 200 g equals to 4 cm OB equals to 200 g equals to 4 cm OC equals to 7 cm which is 350 grams Now take a protractor and measure the angle AOB as it is observed the angle aob equals to 58 degree we represent it by theta Now I will measure the unknown weight using the spring balance. It is observed 
the weight is 350 grams observation the least count of the spring balance lc equals to 20 grams the weight of the unknown body using spring balance s equals to 350 grams the scale factor 1 cm equals to 50 grams from the experiment we found p equals to 200 grams q equals to 200 grams oa equals to 4 cm ob equals to 4 cm oc equals to 7 cm the angle OAB theta equals to 58. Then the R equals to 350 grams. Calculation. The resultant weight W bar using equation root over P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta equals to root over 200 square plus 200 square plus 2 into 200 into 200 into cos 58 which is 349.85 grams therefore the percentage of error for equal p and q equals to s minus w by s into 100 percent which is equals to 350 minus 349.85 by 350 grams into 100 percent which is equals to 0.04 percent precautions the pulley should be frictionless there should be one central knot and it should be small when the lines of action of the forces are marked, the hanger should be at rest. The threads should be strong and thin so that they may be regarded as massless. The scale should be chosen fairly large to obtain the parallelogram. So these are the step by step procedure to find the weight of an unknown body using a parallelogram law of vectors. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. Feel free to comment in the comment section. Please subscribe our channel for the future video on practical experiment. We will see you in the next video.